Good afternoon, 16th of October. A bit dull, a bit overcast. I'm on the uh, well to do Malone Road. I'm opposite Fisherwick Presbyterian Church. I must do a video on it sometime. Uh, don't know when it dates from, but it would be probably. 1880s? Don't know. Anyway, I'm on Eglinton Avenue. And Eglinton Avenue always uh, got the name of, uh, you know, well to do students would uh, live on Eglinton Avenue. solicitors and people like that. I'm looking for a particular house. Well, I'm three quarters way up Edlington Avenue. Nicely tree lined. And back there is Malone Road and down there is Lisburn Road and across here is the home of Cancer Focus Northern Ireland and the house on the right is the house that I'm looking for because the house on the right is where Angela Lansbury's mummy was born in 1895 fine looking building and back in the day uh, these uh, you know back in the day Eglinton Avenue would have been a very very uh, prestigious address frontage all changed now but the, the brickwork is all the same Back then, uh, Angela Lansbury's mother was a lady called Moira, Moina McGill, but before she got married, uh, and she became an, uh, an acclaimed actress stage and, stage and screen uh, herself, she was Charlotte Lillian McElduey. And... Uh, she was a West End actress, daughter of William McAdoo, a wealthy solicitor and director of Belfast Opera House. And perhaps it was uh, his influence that sparked the uh, his daughter, Moina McGill and perhaps even his granddaughter to take to the stage and uh, be an actress, I don't know. Angela Lansbury, to my knowledge, best of my knowledge, never uh, came to Belfast, I don't know, but uh, I, I don't, if she never came to Belfast, she certainly uh, didn't visit this, uh, this house where her mother was born. Bit of a shame that, but I'm sure she had other places to go. She did live in in, uh, in Cork for quite a number of years. So who? Angela Lansbury actually has just uh, just died there recently. Born 1925, um, died 2022, age 96, and she uh, she gained so many awards. Uh, for films, Academy Awards and awards for this, that and the other thing. She had a career uh, spanning eight decades, would you believe? <laughs> Unbelievable. She was a citizen of our, an Irish citizen and she uh, was a UK citizen and she was a citizen of the United States. Uh, famous pictures and, uh, that we'd remember by a uh, picture of Dorian Gray, uh, Manchurian Candidate, very interesting film. 
bed knobs and broomsticks and uh, later on Nanny McPhee, Mary Hopkin, Mary Poppins <laughs> returns uh, and uh, countless, countless uh, stage performances. She also, of course, uh, starred as Jessica Fletcher in uh, Murder, She Wrote. So, Angela Lansbury's mummy came from 42 Eglantine Avenue. Can any good thing come out of Belfast? Well, it did. Like so many other um, American actors and actresses, they can trace their lineage back to good old Belfast or somewhere else in Ulster. And this is Moina McGill, film actress, stage actress. And these are a few of her films that you might you might know. Uh, 1928 Pygmil Pygmalion. Um, 1943 J&R, 1944 National Velvet, um, also 1944 Picture of Dorian Gray. Now who else was in that but her daughter? Angela Lansbury was also starring in that film. And then um, we have uh, Morning McGill 1946 in Black Beauty, 1952 in Les Miserables, 1964 in My Fair Lady. And this is an actual picture of the two of them together, mother and daughter. And the resemblance is, is, uh, is striking. And this is a photograph of the Angela Lansbury that most of us uh, remember from her uh, Murder She Wrote series. Angela Lansbury, gone but not forgotten. <laughs>